it's never good when your coaching debut is the focus of SEC shorts the next morning, right? <laughs> when they come out, and I love the job that those guys do, but when they rip you, it's not good. And, and perception can be reality. Brian Kelly, he's, he's an excellent coach. The resume is top 10 uh, of current coaches, if not higher than that. And I get all that. But LSU is a different place, right? It's like Chicago politics. Like th- there are so many layers and layers to being accepted within that state, within that fan base, and on top of that, getting what you need out of them to support your program. And that's all tied into recruiting. And from a 30,000 foot view right now, it's, it's more than just the lack of execution on special teams and how rugged they look. It, it's also this idea that the administration rolled the dice when they took a guy who wasn't just a, an outsider. He's different than that fan base, right? He is, buttoned up he can be rigid at times he gives this 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 air of um superiority when we all know how the ogeron era ended but at its best he was one of them and they all related to him and pulled for him um they will back a winner there's no doubt about that you could have a martian on the sideline and that fan base would would back him if they won games but it was it was just about the worst start he could have asked for, not just the result, but the fact that everyone said they need to be more buttoned up, they need to be more disciplined, they need to have better coaching and better execution, and they didn't show any of that in game one, which is what he's supposed to bring to the table. So uh, I'm, I'm anxious to get down there and, and kind of see for myself and within that inside that building – where everything stands because we know I don't have to get on a plane and know what the mood of that state is right now.